Hey, what's going on? This is the Anime Man. So I just came back from Singapore last week, and uh, this is gonna be a little, or it's not gonna be a little, because I got a fuckload of things from you guys from Singapore AFA. Look, like, look at this shit. I've got an entire fucking suitcase full of stuff. The visual arts people that I went to Singapore with, they had to give me one of their suitcases in order for me to bring all of your guys' stuff home. So, I managed to get all the stuff in here, so we're gonna go through each one of the gifts and letters and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun fan appreciation times. <laughs> okay, so the first gift I'm gonna look at is, uh, this thing that I don't even remember receiving. For some reason I got a Minecraft sword. <laughs> Not even a Minecraft YouTuber, why did I get this? I assume somebody gave this to me, uh, when they stopped by at the visual arts booth when I wasn't there. So, uh, I'm gonna- ooh, this is actually kind of nice quality. I'm gonna go slay people. <laughs> That's gonna sound great on the audio capture. <laughs> okay, next thing we got is a little bag that somebody gave me. Sony bag. And inside there is- ooh, there's a few things in here. Oh, there's a lot of letters and whatnot. Oh, I guess this is like stuff that a bunch of people gave me. Oh, this looks handmade. It's like a little cat fluffy, uh, what do they call these kinds of cats again? Tabbies. That's it. Little, uh, Pictures. This one's kind of cute. It says thank you for coming to Singapore from at shoe cosplay. And this one says thank you for the hugs at uh, Maui Yu, I think. And this one is from Nameless. It literally says Nameless on there. It says please come back. I will next year definitely. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a little picture as well. Somebody drew from uh, Moose Popcorn on Twitter. Thank you. That's really kind of gross that my face is the mask now, but uh, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Got these little letters here, so let's open them up and read them. It says, Dear Joey, how is your stay here in Singapore? I hope you're doing fine. Thank you so much for coming over. I thought you wouldn't come because you haven't been to Southeast Asia till now. I've been watching your videos for the one plus years and I absolutely 100% enjoy them. I look forward to more videos and have a safe flight back from uh, Ching Xian. Thank you, Ching. Oh, this is someone else. Uh, this says to Joey. Hey, I'm uh, Huey, I think. H-U-I. I'm so glad you came to Singapore despite your busy schedule. I just want to say I love watching your videos as it makes me happy and I love the happy and chill vibe you give out around people. Stay awesome and stay you, Huey. Thank you, Huey. These letters are really, like, meticulously made. Is this, like, some kind of picture or something? Oh, there's, like, a little envelope in it. But there's nothing in it. <laughs> so, never mind. Thank you, Huey, and, uh, which one was this? Ching. Thank you. For the letters. I got a little Gudetama bag. I'm definitely gonna keep this just for my own thing. And it's empty! <laughs> cool! So, I guess someone just gave me a Gudetama bag. Alright. I'll keep it. Oh, somebody gave me... Looks like a figurine. Oh, yeah, this is the figurine that, uh... This is the Monogatari figurine, the Hanekawa figurine. When I got this, I said to whoever gave it to me, I think someone gave it to this to me in a signing. I said, I don't remember if I have this one or not. I feel like I've seen this somewhere, like in a store, and I was going to buy it, but I don't think I ended up buying it, so uh, that's perfect. Now I have another Monogatari figurine to my collection. Thank you, whoever gave me this. There's no name attached to it, but thanks. And this is probably just the, the best gift I ever got. Somebody gave me a fucking Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale Pillow. Why? I haven't even seen the fucking movie. <laughs> Yet I got this pillow. Although, not gonna lie, it feels awesome. <laughs> so I might just, uh, I might just use this as a throw pillow, or throw cushion for the couch. So yeah, there you go. Now I now, I now have a Sword Art Online pillow on my couch. Hope you're happy, haters. Let's go back to the good shit, like this Monogatari figurine. Or not the Monogatari figurine, Monogatari series, uh, hand towel. I think this is of Shinobu, it looks like. Yeah, it is, it's of Shinobu. This is of Shinobu, Shinobu. You guys gave me a buttload of, like, Monogatari and, like, Shinobu stuff, so... You guys obviously know what I like, so... However, this also doesn't have a name on it, so... Thanks to whoever gave me this hand towel. Here are some more posters. I think there's... Maybe, like, three or four in here. Let's see what they are. Okay, so the first one is a... Kizumonogatari part... Three figurine, yeah, the day gets a hint figurine. Oh, not figure. Why do I keep saying figurine? Series poster. Yeah, you can never have enough Shinobu posters. I only have one on my wall right now, so here you go. Here's another one to the collection. And I think the other two here are also... Yeah, oh, cool. They're the other two. So here's the poster from part one. 
the uh, Tick gets a hand. Kizumonovatari. And here's the part two poster from the Nick gets a hand movie. So there you go, I have all three posters now from the Kizumonovatari series. Sweet. That is going on my wall. Okay, this isn't, this doesn't look like an anime thing, but somebody gave me this. It's food. Authentic Yakun Kaya. Okay, it doesn't say what it is, but since it says toast, I'm guessing it's like some kind of like, uh, marmalade jam kind of deal. So, uh, yeah. Probably just gonna give this a go and find out what it's like. I wonder if I can give it a smell at least. It's like a bean paste. Mmm. It's sweet. It's sweet though. So, yeah. Probably just put that on some- smack that on some bread. Probably tastes pretty good. God fucking damn. Thank you to whoever gave me this. I'll definitely give it a try and uh, let you know probably on Twitter or something how it tastes. And because you guys know me too well, I have three separate Shinobu figurines, or Shinobu Chibi figurines actually, and they're all different. Just coincidentally. Th these were given, I remember, these were given by three different people and they're all different. Oh yeah, it's the ones, it's the ones like the, with the little stands that you have to put together. But there you go. I got three more shinobus because you can never have enough shinobus. We got a letter here, it says to Joey, let's open it. Hey Joey, it was amazing seeing you in Singapore. P.S. Sorry for the bad handwriting on... I'm, I'm on a cab, okay? That's fine. I was really nervous meeting you uh, on AFA day one. I gave you that local comic Mr. Kaisu. Oh yeah, no, I do remember it. It's, it's somewhere in here. I do remember you giving that to me. Oh sorry, it's pronounced Kiyasu. Okay, never mind. I was so nervous that I couldn't say those one-liners I've been thinking up. Like, hey, I masturbate to anime girls, can we be friends? <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing you didn't say that. Day two, I'm really thankful for, especially, I had, uh, got to the event at 4am to be one of the first uh, 30 at the Saikano booth to get an autograph from the Seiyu uh, of uh, Kato Megumi and lost out because of the dumb premium pass. Oh, that sucks, man. I was really disappointed until I got uh, to your panel with Key Studios and got the art book. Thanks again for choosing the bad Ichigo cosplayer. Oh, you're the Ichigo cosplayer that won the art book. Oh yeah, no, I do remember you. You made my day, man, after not being able to get the signing. Also, one last thing, premium passes suck. <laughs> oh, that blows, man, but uh, hey, at least you got to win the art book. That's, that's a premium ass art book that you won. So, uh, there you go. Congrats, man, and uh, Thanks for coming to see me. Oh, hell yeah. We got a little artwork of me dabbing and Aki as a little tentacle thing. It's kind of weird and gross. Thank you for coming to Singapore from Aichan. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, we got a little sexy artwork of my character. And this letter says, Hello, thank you for entertaining everyone with your amazing YouTube videos. Here's a small thing from me to express my gratitude. I'm sorry if the art looks terrible. Nah, that looks awesome, dude. Thank you, uh, Evie or Evie. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. We have another letter right here. It says, Hello Joey, hope Singapore wasn't so boring for you. I was really shook that you actually came. The moment my friend pointed at you, I was like, uh, holy crap, dancing Jesus, he's real. <laughs> Kinda panicked. Though I think I shouldn't fangirl so much and try saying hi or try to talk to you like a normal person, right? Yeah, just come up to me like a normal person. But anyways, I would like to thank you for posting such amazing and hilarious videos that made me laugh so much till I can't feel my stomach and wheeze in an autistic manner. <laughs> What a description. If I ever pass this to you, I would be so happy since I'll probably be a mess and not talk so much since it's hard for me. I hope I put Aki's letter uh, and you guys fan art inside. If I forgot, then fuck. Uh, I think you did? No, you didn't, but there's a little doodle of us at the front, so we'll take that. Keep loving lollies, thick thighs, jiggle physics memes, and many things the world has for you. Stay cool and amazing. From a fan named Zoro. Thank you. That's, uh, that's really cool, man. Just, you know, yeah, it's nice. Just come up to me like a normal person, man. You don't need a fangirl and scream and shit like that. Like, I much prefer it if you just came up to me and said, like, Hey, what's up? I watch your videos. And I'll be like, cool, sweet. You wanna, you wanna high five? So, you know, just, just do shit like that for me, like, next year if we go back to AFA and, uh, everything will be sweet. Got another little letter here with lots of little, uh, lots of little, uh, hedgehogs on it. It says, to Joey from Cleo. And there's a letter inside. Let's read it. No, it's not a letter. It's just a, it's just a lovely, lovely artwork. Thank you, Cleo. Thank you for the good fan art. We got another little fan art here of me and a tiny little Aki on my shoulder. We got a collection here of really nice fan art here. We got one... Oh, there's two here. Oh, I'm guessing both of these 
I guess one's for Aki and one's for me. Dear Joey, uh, hey Joey, thanks for coming to AFA this year. I hope you had a blast. I made this drawing fan out of you and Aki in Angel Beats student uniform. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, I thought that was familiar. That's awesome. So sort of done uh, over the weekend during AFA, so sorry for the half-hearted completed drawing. No, it's fine. It's it's completed, dude. It's in color and everything. That's completed. A pair of chibi stickers were meant to come along, but there wasn't enough time for me to make them. I hope you'll get the, to see them when they are done. Yeah, if you come next year, then... Make sure to hand it to us. I hope you all like the drawing, uh, including Aki. I hope to see you guys at the next AFA or when the both of you guys come to Singapore. Best wishes, uh, uh, safe flight back, and good luck from Crystal slash Mika. Thank you, Crystal or Mika or both. Thank you for the letter of fan art. We got another little fan art here of me, Aki, and I think that's sh yeah, that's Shinobu. Please come to AFA again. I beg of you. Also, I'm gay for you. <laughs> Your girlfriend and 2000 year old lolly waifu. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for the fan art. Oh, this one's another cool one too. This is of me and my character and Aki in the corner. And I look pissed off for some... I'm putting up the middle finger because I'm on top of me. It's a weird sentence to say. Got a little flitter here. Hi, Joey. I'm Chloe. Anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for signing the poster and book and for taking a picture with me. You're literally my very first YouTuber to take a photo with and I can finally take it off my bucket list. Even though I wanted Aki's first, but... She'll be there next year, don't worry. Anyways, I hope you had fun here in Singapore at AFK 2K17, and although uh, your time here was short, your memories stay forever, hopefully. Before I end my letter, rate my haiku. Hope you liked your stay here at AFA dot dot. Please come back next year. Well, you got 575 correct, so uh, I give that an A+. P.S. with Aki this time. Jane, thank you. And um, Is there a name? Oh yeah, Chloe. Sorry, Chloe. There you go. Thank you, Chloe, for the haiku, and uh, there's a little like, little drawing here as well, in the corner of it. So yeah, thank you very much. Whoa, look at this like super realistic drawing of me. Check that out. Oh, it's in Japanese. Subarashi doga wa gambatte kudasai ne ouin shiteru kara from Kuron. Thank you, Kuron. That's a that's a really good fucking drawing, dude. Oh, and then we're going back to the uh, the Shinobu stuff because I got six more posters of Shinobu. Hell yeah! Oh, actually no, it's six posters from the Kizumonogatari series. Yeah, yeah, the Kizumonogatari movie. Six posters, more six more posters. Now I have what nine Shinobu posters to put up. My wall's just gonna be completely covered in Monogatari, and I'm totally okay with that. We also got a is this a tapestry. Or is, a, or is it a flag? I don't know what it is. Let's, let's open it up and find out. Oh yeah, it is a little flag. Oh, it's a little Love Live Sunshine flag of... Uh, who's this character? Kurosawa Daiya. Man, I don't watch enough Love Live to know this character, but hey, I'll take it. I've also received a... This is looks like a K-Project towel? It's either a K-Project towel or a K-Project t-shirt. Oh, no. It's a K-Project... Pillow bag or a pillow cover. Yeah, pillow bag. Pillow cover. Sorry, pillow cover from K Project. Is this from the movie? Because I don't recognize these two. If it's from Missing Kings, then I don't recognize these two. If not, it's been a very long time since I watched K. So, uh, yeah, that's super cool though. Might use that. It feels pretty good though on my face. Here's another bag of stuff that somebody gave to me. Oh, here's a Hunter Hunter uh, clear file. That's super cool. And we got a- Oh, we got a little Pikachu in a uh, Flareon, like, bean bag. That's really cute. <laughs> there you go. I've seen- I've seen a bunch of these kinds of Pikachus at the Pokemon Center, so I've always wanted to get one of these, so there you go. I have my own now. I think this is a Flareon, unless I'm completely getting my po- Yeah, no, it is a Flareon. Okay, cool. I, I do know my Pokemon, guys. Don't worry. And we got a Prince of Tennis- Is this a, this is a pack of cards? Yeah, it's just playing cards. From Prince of Tennis. And we have a letter from another Huey. I don't know if it's the same Huey. I don't know if that's a common name in Singapore or not. Oh, and inside the envelope there was a little uh, Hestia keychain. That's adorable. To the anime man, hi there, welcome to Singapore. It's like a dream come true for you to be visiting Singapore. Please help me say hi to Aki and say that I love her too. Well, there you go. Aki, you have another fan in Singapore. Really enjoy your content on YouTube. I have packed small gifts, so hopefully you will like it. I wish to go to Japan one day in three years' time, and I hope I will enjoy it. I'm sure you will. Hopefully Singapore has been a wonderful experience, and come back again one day. From Huey Finn. From Huey Finn. There you go. There's a little, tiny little fan art 
behind me as well. It looks like uh, me, Mist. I'm assuming that's Misty. <laughs> the bald guy right here. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Misty, and if that is Misty, then that's awesome. <laughs> and Aki. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for the gifts, Huey. I love this fucking Pikachu. That's, uh, if I can find space for it on my couch, then that's going on the couch. Ooh, okay, we got something in a Kinokinia bag, and, uh, just from the looks of that, I'm gonna like it. What is this? Is this a record? Oh my god, it is a record. Whoa! This is a limited edition record of the Kizumonogatari soundtrack. That's fucking dope! Dude, that's so cool! I didn't even know they sold these. Yeah, limited- yeah, this is the soundtrack from part three of the Deke 10. That's so cool, dude. And, uh, there's a letter attached to it. it says, Yo, Joey, currently writing this at 2.15am the night before I pass this to you. I hope to God you can read this. I am, my boy. I stumbled onto your channel when I came across the top five anime series that will make you cry video. That was like four years ago, dude. Then proceeded to watch that uh, 100 Lays of Anime Cringe and I was hooked. My personal favorites have always been your Antime Senpais and Let's Play series, though you've stopped doing one of them. Yeah, the Let's Play series. I mean, I only just brought back the Antime Senpai like last month. Not gonna make a sappy note on how your videos made me happy when I'm down or something like that, but I will say that your videos have always been entertaining and you're probably one of the three YouTubers whose videos I have not skipped. Unless they catch spoil- uh, unless they say spoilers. Well, I keep most of my videos spoiler free. Finally, thanks for getting me hooked onto the Monogatari series, like really hooked. In fact, I'll probably be wearing a Monogatari sweatshirt when I meet you. Senju Gahara is best girl, but Shinobu is cool. Like, Tabu. No, she- I love Senju Gahara too, but it's only Shinobu. Anyway, onto the gift. I actually kind of had it lying around, wanted to give you something special. You love music, you love anime, and you love Monogatari. So why not give this to you? Yeah, dude, this thing is fucking cool. Again, I didn't even know they sold this. That's so dope. I know a lot of my friends who love Monogatari are going to be jealous of this. That being said, I probably didn't think this through on what you're going to do with it, but hey, it's cool to have. Well, I mean, I'm clearly going to have to buy a record player now, and totally okay with that. I think that's it, at least for now. Here's to more videos, can't bite. Uh, P.S. We'll continue to span your streams with cheers. Thank you so much, my man. Like, dude, that is... That's so dope. <laughs> I fucking love this, dude. Oh, man. I, it must have been expensive, too, so... I feel really bad now that you gave this to me, like, as a gift, but hey, man. I'll take it, I'll listen to it, and I'll let you know what it's like, man. That's so cool. Thank you very much for that. Somebody drew a fan art of me. I guess this is like a, a gender band fan art of me on like a proper like professional shikishi. <laughs> so that's really cool. Here's a big fucking envelope that says to Joey Joestar. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody did fan art of me in the style of Jojo. That is so disturbing yet cool. I guess I'm... Jo I, I guess I'm Joseph and my avatar is Star Platinum. That is very disturbing and very cool. And there's a letter right here. It says, DJ, I really enjoy your content as they are very funny and interesting. How is Singapore? I hope you come to Singapore AFA more often. I definitely will. I made you a JoJo styled fan art. I hope you enjoy it. I wish you the best of luck here. Sorry about my bad handwriting. As a token apology, have a lolly vampire. You thought it was Shinobu, but it was me, Dio. So you somehow managed to draw me in the style of Joseph and Star Platinum, but you also managed to draw Shinobu in the style of Dio. I don't know. I don't know if I should be impressed with that or disturbed by that, but thank you very much for the fan art. The tiny little letter with like little stickers at the back of it, which I don't want to rip off, but I just did. The anime man. Hi, I'm really bad at drawing stuff, but I tried, so I hope you like it. I also can't color, which explains why the drawing is just a pencil sketch. Sorry. Oh shit. The the art might have been separated from the letter, sorry. I'm also really awkward with writing letters, and at this point, I feel like I'm just, uh, listing negative points. Anyway, getting back on track, thank you. You've, uh, heard this in every other fan letter, I'm sure, but I'm still gonna say it. Your content always puts a smile on my face, even when there are things on my mind that are bothering me. You somehow managed to take me away from all that and just have a good laugh. Even if I don't always agree with all of your opinions, you provide me with a new perspective that I'm always happy to hear. You also give great recommendations when I can't think of anything to watch. In general, your videos are like a part of anime that I can't miss out on. You add so much to my anime watching experience, which makes me thankful. I've been following your videos since you first started YouTube and had the opportunity to see your content grow, as did my love for anime. I sincerely hope to see you continue making videos for years to come, seeing the joy you bring to fans in doing so. Don't ever doubt your content because as long as you... 
uh, yourself are, are satisfied, then it's definitely good. I want to write more, but there's no space, so my final words. I don't approve of your excessive cursing, but it adds to your charm. I do agree as well, like, just, you know, I'm gonna keep being myself, you know, swearing included. Um, because, you know, I can't act like a character. I can only- the only thing I know how to be is me, so what I plan to do for as long as I can. Thank you for the letter. And hey, look! More fucking Monogatari posters! There's six more- these, these are different, actually. Yeah, these are different. Kids Monogatari posters. So now I have 15 new Monogatari posters which are gonna go on my wall. I'm probably gonna post a picture of that on Twitter. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much to whoever also gave me this. I don't think it was the same person who gave me- Again, coincidentally, two different people gave me the sets of the Monogatari posters, and they're both different. So, good collaborative work there, guys. <laughs> we got a little envelope here of some stuff. There's some ambitious fuck at the front of this one. And then behind here, there's my waifu, Shinobu. And oh, there's something also inside here that looks like a, a laminated, like, seal or sticker. Oh, yeah. There's one here, which is me, like, doing, like, the finger bang thing. And then there's the other one, I'm just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm like shrugging and then there's a gender version of me gender band version of me with says Joey with big boobies <laughs> Hell yeah, I do uh, these are all done by uh, Jome arts I guess at Jome arts on Twitter and Instagram maybe it doesn't specify but yeah Thank you very much. These are all really cool and the fact that you laminated these is a nice touch So thank you. Oh, I remember someone giving this to me at the signing. It's a play mat like the kind of like the play mats that you can play like you know card games and like Yu-Gi-Oh and like all that kind of stuff, but it's of a really traditional-looking animal girl. And I actually really like this design. I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, it's pretty cool. Thanks. Here's the one here that says "Gift to the Anime Man." Looks like there's a shikishi inside of here, so let's check it out. Oh no, this one's for Aki. Okay, this one's for Aki, and there's another one for me. It says, hello anime man, this is a gift I finally could gi uh, give to you. I hope you bring Aki to SG next time. Love you and your videos. Have a great new year's and Xmas from Yen Cat. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. That's adorable. It's like me with like... What is that? Is that like a... Oh, it's oh, it's the Merlion. And someone like drew me like putting like salt on the Merlion. Aki's like, no! Oh, that's really cute. I love that style. Yen Cat, you're a fucking good artist, dude. I really like that style, very much so. Yeah, thank you very much, that's really adorable. This is something that's pretty cool, somebody gave me a... a Negi. But it's a pen. It's a Negi pen. Thank you. Look at this badass motherfucker. Look at him. It's fucking gorgeous. We got another shikishi here, with a letter on it. You guys really love your shikishis, don't you? It says, Dear Anime Man, thank you for blessing us with your presence at C3 AFA SG17. I've been a big fan of your videos for a very long time. Please keep on doing what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed Singapore and will come again someday. P.S. Please bring the rest of the gang next time. At, uh, Kukukuin. And it says, Aki Dearest Property. So, looks like I'm giving this to Aki. Alright, and here are some of the biggest, like, plushies and stuff that someone bought me. This is a really, really... Super soft teddy bear. Oh, this feels so good. I'm definitely gonna keep this on the couch as like another kind of throw pillow thing. So yeah, there you go. Does it have a little butthole? No, it doesn't. Oh, this was really cool as well. Actually, this was one of the first things that someone gave to me uh, at AFA is a little no face, uh, uh, what is it, money box? Piggy bank? Okay, I can't open it. <laughs> There's a coin in there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That was weird, that came out, alright. And he gave me a uh, Singaporean 50 cent coin in there because he showed me that you can actually, you can place the money in his hand. <laughs> Which I think is a kind of a nice little touch to put on there. But yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, man. Definitely gonna have this just sitting on my desk to remind me how poor I am. And the other big plushy thing that somebody gave me ugh, is in this bag. And it is equally soft, and it's a little of a little shobong. Look at him, he's just like, he yeah. says shobong at the back. This one's also very, very comfy to like have on the couch. I need a bigger couch now because I have too many throw pillows, so 
yeah, there you go. Thank you as well to whoever gave this to me. And the last bit of merch, I guess, that I'm going to show you guys that I got from AFA uh, is merch that I didn't get from you guys, but I actually got from the people I went to Singapore with, and that's visual arts or key. And the whole reason I could go to Singapore AFA was because of the visual arts people, and I'm so fucking, like, proud of myself, but I'm also proud of us that we managed to work with a visual novel company that I have been playing their games for like over 10 years. So it was a dream come true for me and uh, they held a booth there, as you guys know, and uh, they actually gave me some of the stuff that they sold at that booth uh, just as like a thank you gift. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys that stuff. So we got a little uh, Angel Beats, I think this is a card holder of a uh, Yui from Girls Dead Monster. Is Girls Dead Monster at the back there. This was really fucking cool. And I don't have like a proper like card holder or anything because my wallet's getting pretty fat because of all the cards that I have. So this is a perfect substitute for that. We also have, of course, some dangos. Yeah, they had uh, four different colored dangos. These went really freaking quickly at the booth and I can see why. So I have a blue one, a yellow one, a pink one, and a green one. So I got the whole family now. That was super fucking cool. They also gave me two t-shirts here, one from uh, the Planetarium game. That's super cool. And the other one is from Angel Beats. Hell yeah. So, some more. I don't think I have any like Key Studios t-shirts or anything, so that's perfect. Now I have some. And definitely the coolest thing that they had at the booth, which I wanted for so long, was the Little Buster's 10th anniversary art book. This thing's freaking cool, dude. Like, I, I played you know, Little Busters, and the Little Busters English, uh, at, you know, version is out to celebrate the 10th, 10 year anniversary. So, finally got a nice, uh, visual arts art book, which I've always wanted, and it's of Little Busters, which is like, my next favorite game after Clanad. So, there you go, that's super cool. And not to mention that because I was collaborating with visual arts at the booth, I actually got to sell some of, like, some official merch, like, in collaboration with visual arts. Like, I showed you guys during the announcement of me going to AFA that I was going to sell a tapestry, a keychain, and a towel that is a collaboration with Angel Beats. And I figured because we had some left over, and not everybody watching this video and watching my channel watches, or, or went to AFA rather, I decided that I'm actually going to do a Patreon exclusive giveaway for 10 people uh, to win the tapestry, the keychain, and the towel set. So if you are a $10 tier of Patreon and up, then this month, hopefully before the end of this year, I will be doing a giveaway of the tapestry, the keychain, and the towel set. Pretty much the way that I am going to be choosing who wins is, of course, you need to be a patron. So a $10 patron or more, and I'm just gonna randomly select from the $10, $25, and $50 patrons. So, if you're already a $10, $25, $50 patron, you have nothing to worry about. All you have to do is just wait to see if you hopefully win. If you want to enter this giveaway, then, again, go over to my Patreon and either be a $10, $25, or $50 tier, and you'll be in the draw to get one of 10 uh, sets that you can only get at AFA. So after these are gone, you're probably never gonna get these again. <laughs> so, if you want exclusive stuff, then now's the chance to do it. So again, go over to click that first link in the description below to go to my Patreon, and even if you don't want to necessarily get the stuff, then if you want to support me on the things that I do, then the best place to do it is over on Patreon. So again, click that first link in the description to support your boy. And also, if you don't want to necessarily be a patron, you don't want to be in this thing, then I've also released my own merch store about a week or two ago with some, again, Christmas stuff. Uh, depending on when this video is up, I don't know when yet, uh, the Christmas designs may or may not be in sale right now, but everything will be there for pre-order at least until the 8th of December. So hopefully I can get this video up before then <laughs> to show you guys that. So again, if you'd like to pre-order some of my merch, then again, go down to that link in the description below. But yeah guys, obviously that wasn't everything that I caught at AFA if I had done everything at AFA then this video would be like fucking three hours long and I don't want to I don't want you guys to sit through a three hour long video like that so don't worry though I everything else like all the letters and all the fan art that I didn't show in this video and all the gifts that I did receive in this video I've read them all and I've you know put all of the merch and everything you know in a safe place so I've brought everything home so nothing 
went to waste that you guys gave to me. And uh, I'm definitely going to be back AFA next year. I think the visual arts people were saying that they're probably going to bring me and Aki next year. So if you'd like to see like me again, hopefully, or if you'd like to see Aki next year or the both of us, then uh, yeah, hopefully you guys come to Singapore AFA next year. But yeah, guys, um, just, you know, thanks for everything. Like, I honestly wasn't expecting that many people at Singapore AFA. Like, I, that, this was my first Southeast Asian convention. So I had absolutely no idea what to expect at this convention, like, at all. So it's just fucking awesome to see that so many of you guys were there for us. And, you know, not just me, like, you know, my buddy Gigguk, uh, he went there as well, and he got a lot of people recognizing him. And uh, it's just so weird to think that, you know, for us YouTubers, or at least for us any tubers that Southeast Asia is a place that you guys are, uh, you know, are there and uh, uh, is a place where we get support from. And we'd definitely love to come back, all of us would definitely like to come back next year. So, yeah, just thank you to everyone who came to see us. Thank you to everybody who gave me fan art, letters, gifts, all that kind of stuff. So fucking cool. The fact that I had to, like, jack a suitcase from the visual arts people just to bring all that stuff home just goes to show how much support uh, you guys gave to me. And, uh, yeah, just... Thanks again, guys. So fucking cool. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Ciao,